In this video I want to present you my new half rhombic drive Stirling engine. Many people asked me if I could sell them the rhombic Stirling engine. The problem is that the price would be ridiculously high for a 300 watt engine. The original rhombic drive is an elegant mechanism but very complex and sensitive to adjustment. I experimented with many different timing gears but was never satisfied with one. The half rhombic drive was invented by Professor Carlquist and provides nearly the same volume val variations with much less effort. It still has to prove if the piston side lords are acceptable. Friction seems to be quite low. The heat exchangers are the most work and cost intensive parts. The heater head is made of heat resistant stainless steel and the cooler out of aluminium. For the original rhombic engine many slots and grooves have to be made which require intensive machining. For the half rhombic engine I start with a very easy heater and cooler. Just a small regenerator provides some additional dead space. Surely this won't give a lot of power, but I can develop the heat exchangers step by step and hopefully will find a good balance between Ford and power. With all these changes, the half rhombic Stirling engine is quietly running for the first time and I am happy.
The output power is modest, but lets me hope for further improvements after anything moves smooth.